Senator Lila de Lima was arrested at the Senate in the Capitol early on Friday morning. She's accused of running an illegal drug syndicate at the National Penitentiary when she was Justice Secretary in the previous government. She's been charged with drug trafficking. If convicted, she could be sentenced to life in prison. These are all lies. The truth will come out at the right time. They think they can silence me. They think I will stop fighting what I believe in for truth and justice, for the daily killings. It is an honor for me to go to prison for what I believe in. The feud between the two politicians started years ago. The Lima launched an in-depth investigation into what was known as the Davao Death Squad, a vigilante group set up by Duterte when he was mayor of Davao City for many years. When she became a senator, the Lima called on the United Nations to investigate what President Duterte calls the war on drugs. At least 7,000 Filipinos have been killed since Duterte became president more than eight months ago. Police records say vigilante groups are responsible for most of the killings. From the courthouse, we followed the senator's convoy when she was driven to police headquarters where she's expected to be detained. A government spokesman says De Lima was given due process in court. The lawyer will be accessible. She will have access to her family and her lawyers. Police will decide whether friends and colleagues can visit her. Police commanders are not saying whether De Lima will be able to continue her work as senator while in custody. De Lima's lawyers call her arrest an attempt to silence critics of the president. But many human rights activists see this as a possible tipping point. What they say is her persecution may embolden others to speak up against the president. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.